Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Saucedo. I'd like to talk to you about a very important topic that is coming up quite a bit, and that is exactly how to use and apply power strips. First of all, let me assure you that power strips are manufactured to very exacting standards. They're designed to perform very consistently, so you can count on them. They're also designed to tolerate significant shifts in both temperature and humidity that occur normally during shipping and also when they're stored in your home. First of all, what you'd like to do is prepare the skin. Now you can clean it if you like, that's not required, or apply it after bathing, that also is not required, but if you ensure that the area is free of lotions, free of cosmetics, that will allow the adhesive to adhere more readily to the skin. Now people talk and ask about whether or not power strips can get wet. Now they can get wet briefly, but if you immerse them in water for long periods of time, those natural products that are the construction materials of the power strips will begin to break down. So a little bit of water is okay, long immersion is not good. While there's no ideal or perfect way to apply a power strip, what I found works very well is if you take off the small portion of the backing first, you've chosen an area to apply it. You take the small area and apply it first and smooth it down. Reflect it back, take the rest off as you press and pull. Then you smooth it out. And it's as easy as that. When you apply a power strip, it's important to avoid putting it over a joint. That joint is going to be moving all day long and it's going to cause peeling. So put the strip above or below the joint. Also be aware that when you're applying a power strip to an area, for example, that will be under a belt or tight pants, that there might be issues with sticking. It can peel and come off. Another very important thing to consider is the state of the skin. Avoid having oily skin. Be certain that you aren't sweating. All of these things are important to think about as you apply power strips, but once it's in place, it's good for up to 48 hours. As far as reapplying a power strip after you've taken it off, I would advise against that. It's a very difficult thing to do, and once you do it, you're going to have lost effectiveness of both the adhesive and you'll have lost ingredients as well. Another very important thing to consider is whether or not you can cut the power strips. The answer to that is absolutely. All of the ingredients in the power strips are distributed evenly and uniformly throughout the entire strip. So that if you cut it, you're going to get a proportionate amount of those ingredients. So go ahead and cut them and use them as you need them. This short video is to illustrate how exactly to place the power strips, but it's not a difficult process. Essentially, pick the place, take off the backing, apply it, and enjoy the pain relief that it delivers.